I'm Stephen Sanders and this is your Daily Energy Report. Ford Field Stadium is working with Detroit Thermal, an energy generation and distribution company, to change the home of the Detroit Lions natural gas hot water heaters to steam heating exchangers, which are a more reliable, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly way to heat and cool the 65,000-seat sports and entertainment complex. Detroit Thermal Steam is produced with renewable energy sources, making it one of the cleanest solutions available. The primary of them comes from the municipal solid waste, and the resulting steam from the combustion of this fuel is used to generate up to 68 megawatts of electricity, and is available for export at a peak rate of up to 550,000 pounds per hour. The electricity is sold to the Detroit Edison Electric Company and the steam is delivered to Detroit Thermal. The new system was up and running at the Lions game against the Minnesota Vikings on September 30th. And according to the stadium management, the conversion away from natural gas will result in a 32% reduction in carbon emissions. Sempra Mexico won the international offer by Commission Federal Day Electricidad, Mexico's state-owned electric utility, to construct, own, and operate an approximately 500-mile, $1 billion pipeline network connecting the northwestern states of Sonora and Sinaloa. The network will be comprised of two segments that will interconnect to the U.S. interstate pipeline system in Arizona, and will provide natural gas to new and existing CFE power plants that currently use fuel oil. The capacity for each segment is fully contracted by CFE under two 25-year firm capacity contracts denominated in U.S. dollars. The deal represents an opportunity to strengthen the gas transportation system in northern Mexico, and to improve the local economy. Sempra International distributes natural gas in Mexico and electricity to customers in Chile and Peru. Georgia Power's plant Vogtel, a $14 billion project, is progressing successfully. It has reached the 10 million work hours. The project began in 2009 and so far significant work has been done on turbine islands, cooling towers, and nuclear islands. The units are scheduled to go online in 2016. Georgia Power, one of the nation's largest generators of electricity, has approximately 2,300 people on site at Vogtel Units 3 and 4 near Waynesboro. At peak construction, the project is expected to create 5,000 on-site jobs, making it the largest job-producing project in Georgia. There will be 800 permanent jobs when the facility is operational. Once complete, the new units will produce enough electricity to power 500,000 Georgia homes and businesses. The facility provides at least $2.2 billion more value to customers than the next best available technology, including natural gas generation, according to PSC staff. A new professional activity is growing in Germany, energy consultant, and is showing great potential in helping customers to learn about their energy savings options. The backgrounds of these professionals are diverse, and energy consultants can be hired through the internet or through Germany's Federation of German Consumer Organizations, which subsidizes the cost of the service. After an initial consultation at the local consumer center office, the consultant visits your house or apartment, surveys your living space, and makes recommendations on how to save on energy bills. Germany just announced new measures to help out even further with the costs, both for the consulting, making it free, and paying for the recommended measures. For more on energy news and analysis, visit dailyenergyreport.com.